Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This should be a treat. I've had one of my subs been been dying for me to review this one. This is Palette Wrecker. This is from Green Flash Brewing. And they're out of San Diego, California. This is a double, American Double Imperial IPA coming in at 9.50 ABV. So this is a pretty stout one here, guys. Uh, the beer is rotating schedule from them, so I don't exactly know how often they do it. Once a year, twice a year, or how often it is brewed. I have never had this. I have not been disappointed with anything that they do. <clears throat> Everything that I've had from Green Flash has been awesome. The uh, food pairings for this cuisine is barbecue and cheeses of peppery, moderated pepper jack, sharp, blue. Your more pungent cheeses, even gorgonzola and Lindberger. The meat is game, grilled meat and salmon. And I'll tell you this, I mean, this is a stronger IPA. All of your real stronger dishes, spicier dishes will go well with this beer. And it says here, it can be cellared, but I disagree with that. This is an IPA. Uh, the alcohol will let you keep this, but it will... The hops will fade over time on this. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Even if you're refrigerated, it will change. I'm not saying sometimes that's a bad thing, especially on a big beer like this, but... I like the hoppy beers fresh, so that's just me, and that's just my opinion, guys. I like the hoppy stuff within the first three months of being put in the bottle. Uh, otherwise, you know, if it's a big stout or, or something like that, I don't mind uh, cellar for a while. But the, the, the IPAs and the double IPAs, I like them fresh. So it's just me, guys. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, glassware, sector tulip, oversized wine glass. Uh, uh, you could use... Uh, about anything you want to pour it in. Well, I use the, for the bigger beers, I use the Dubells because it enhances the aroma with the shape of the, the glass here, guys. And I don't see anything else. IBUs on this beer is 149 off the charts, just about. I don't even think a human can taste a beer beyond. I mean, unless your palate is extremely well versed, I mean, after you get above 125, 130 on them enough, you can taste the beer being any bitter than it is before. So. All right, there we go into the glass. Boy, that is beautiful. That's a pretty beer. Poured about a nice finger of head there with that. The bubble streaming up, real small bubble streaming up on that one. That looks pretty good in the glass. Very orangey in color, almost a tangerine color there, guys. Very clear too. I mean, it's not cloudy whatsoever. So looks. Excellent in the glass. Let's get a nose on it see what we got. Wow, wow, wow. That is definitely West Coast style. It is grapefruit, pine, orangey. I mean, it's got such a citrusy floral aroma. I mean, it's unbelievable. Wow. Makes me drool. I'm even getting some lighter tropical fruit, mango, and some apricots or something. Wow. They use six pounds per barrel of Columbus and Centennial hops uh, on this beer. So that's pretty. That's a pretty stout uh, hop formula there. Wow. That smells awesome. Cheers, guys. That's pretty damn tasty. It is a large beer, but it, I'm not getting the 9.5. I would I would have guessed that's probably seven and a half, eight percent. And the hops, the hops are so well balanced with what the malt. Wow, this beer is awesome, guys. If you can get this, you need to pick this up, especially if you're a hop head.
definitely a tasty double IPA. And nine and a half percent too. That's almost a triple as far as I'm concerned. Well, it smells awesome and it tastes awesome. It's got all the typical West Coast characteristics of this beer. Well, definitely a winner. Definitely, I can tell you right now, definitely a beer. We'll see where this one lines up. I'm going to tell you how to taste this and be right back here in just a sec and we'll do the final chug on this one. But there's a breeze in here. My hair is going back just a little bit. Stick around. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little left. This beer is awesome. This is pretty damn tasty. I've not been disappointed from anything from Green Flash and this lives right up to everything that I've had from them guys. It's an awesome beer. Now that I've been sipping on it probably 30, 45 minutes, it's still... The alcohol has come up just a hair like it normally does as it warms up, but... I mean, the smell is just awesome here, guys. The, uh, the grapefruit and the piney, citrusy, mango, I mean, it's all there. Final chug, guys. That's an awesome beer. That is an awesome beer. It's probably got something digitized on it somewhere. It's not on the label that I can see. And that is the only thing holding back me from giving this an awesome grade. It's not having the date on the label. Guys, this is a 10 beer as far as I'm concerned, but it's going to get the 9 tonight. I've not been disappointed from Green Flash. Other than putting a date on the damn bottles. Come on, guys. Step up to the plate. Put a damn date on the, on the label. Uh, that's, uh, this is a 10 beer, guys. If you like, if you're a hophead and you like a double or an imperial IPA, this is pretty damn tasty. <clears throat> I enjoyed this one tremendously. Uh, I hope they're going to keep it up there. At, uh, I think I got this in a vintage cellar and uh, pretty damn tasty. I will be getting some more of these if they have some when I go back. So, guys, with that being said, uh, I'm going to stick with the 9. It would be a 10 if it had a date on the label. Ray Beer has 99 overall, 92 in the style. And Beer Abbott comes up with a 91. So, pretty damn tasty. If you've had this, give me some comments back on this one. Liked it, loved it. And if you see it and you haven't had it and you're a hop head, especially if you like a double IPA, you'd be a fool not to pick this one up. So, it's pretty damn tasty, guys. Hey, you know what we're going to do tomorrow? We're going to look in the fridge. Hope you can join me then. See everybody then.